refer to in the, the independence of Israel, which was given to the, the right by the UN, the UN gave Israel that right. You refer to it as al-Nakba, the catastrophe. That's right. That's right. Refer to it correctly as the UN did. No, it's not but correct. It's, you can't have it both ways. Well, I mean, okay. sorry. No. Thank you. The the result, result, let, let's let I, Professor Saeed uh, respond to this. May I, may I respond? I'm sorry. The, the, uh, the destruction of Palestinian society followed on as a result, not of a UN resolution, but of a war of attack upon Palestinian, the Palestinian press. Please let me finish. Don't, don't do that. It doesn't help your case at all by just reasserting propaganda cliches. It, it came about as a result of a war, the war of 1948, in which Palestinians were kicked out. And they remain dispossessed and kicked out to this day. That's what I'm saying. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Excuse me, could we just have a little decorum for a couple more minutes? Last question over here on the left. I'm sorry, this will have to be the last question. Standing over here, I would sir, please take a seat. Please take a seat. Yeah. Okay, okay. I, I have two questions, but they're very short. They better be very short. Okay. Um, I'm, my name is Gali Bonet. I'm an Israeli Jew, and um, I'm strongly against the occupation. But, but at the same time, I've experienced the fear of exploding in a bus and in a coffee shop and places like that. And I want to ask you, what do we do about terrorism? This is a real problem for both people. Yes, I agree with you. I'm, I've taken many public positions against suicide bombing and terrorism of the sort that you just described. But I think one of the great uh, disparities, one of the great lacks in discussion of terrorism is discussions of state terrorism. I don't know if there is an Israeli. I mean, I appreciate your comments very much, and I, I, I very much take. It would certainly be easier. I don't easier. feel like answering the question for you, you lout. <laughs> uh, the point I want to make is, I think that the experience of the average Palestinian on a daily basis to have to be, uh, to have his village or her village entered by 50 or 60 tanks at a time, uh, the use of uh, bulldozers to de demolish houses. Uh, what happened yesterday in, uh, in Gaza when 11 people were killed in 10 shops, I mean, it was in, in today's paper. Uh, those, I think, are just as, uh, and in my opinion, more dehumanizing than the resistance, the suicide bombing, the desperation, which are weapons of the weak, after all. So I think, I well, think you should ask your Israeli friends why they killed school children. Which they've been doing since the early 60s. I, I really think that your, uh, that your value on ending and opposing the occupation is the correct one. And from that, I think, with the ending of occupation and the dismantling of the settlements, I think something better can emerge. But in the present situation, uh, especially with the unconditional support of the United States, it's very, very difficult to see a way out. I just want okay. to say one tiny, tiny thing. Okay, you get 10 <laughs> seconds, okay, but 10 that's seconds. it. First of all, about what you said, I think it's crucial that the left and the peace lovers of both sides will dialogue and unite and not justify any act of killing innocent people. And Thank you. Can, 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 can I make question? a point? Okay, this is, I, I, think, I think we think have to reserve good, the last I think word. in general it's a very good formula, but I have to tell you that the situation between Palestinians and Israelis is not an equal one. That was really the motif of what I was saying today. For an Israeli to do something against military occupation is very different from what a Palestinian has to do, which is to resist military occupation. You see, because you as an Israeli don't feel what a Palestinian does who is under occupation. I think that distinction has to be very carefully maintained. That we're not equals. That you, your government, I'm sorry, I don't mean to personalize it, but the Israeli government is in a position of power and authority. Therefore, a particular responsibility attaches 
to Israeli citizens and to their supporters, especially in this country, to put pressure on the occupation to end. It's a special, especially important role given the disparity in power. I think one also has to keep that in mind. I think but I agree with your point. Okay, thank you very much. Like I think we're question. going to have to end proceedings here. I want to thank you all for coming and for participating so actively. And I want to thank again Professor Saeed for his extraordinary performance this afternoon. Thank you very much.